But it works out. It works out. I mean, he's able to make up for it with keeping his movement really slick and changing up his approach options. I mean, he would go for grabs, down smashes, tilts. He really was making sure he used all of his options to keep Nelly on his toes. His wave lands got very good in game three. Oh, especially yeah. Especially, like, the last two stocks. Super good. What's up? Uh, I am good now. Alright, I gotta play. Alright, have fun. Thanks for, uh, thanks for casting with me. Oh, wow. How'd you find me? What's up, Cam? How you doing, dude? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. How's this bracket been? I literally it's just got here. It's been good, actually. We just had Nelly and, uh, Yink was a really, or, I'm sorry, Nelly Cox was a really good game. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, super close both times. And, but Nelly was able to bring it in. And now it's, wow, Yink is really, oh, Yink's been missing those all night. Yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully he can keep together. I mean, he's significantly ahead a while right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's more, I kind of wasn't watching the first two stocks. Well, yeah, I just realized YL's entrance in this tournament actually allows him to be ranked now, so this makes PR very interesting. I know. The top 10 is going to be nuts. Mm -hmm. Cheddar, I don't think, even think about Dude, apparently, according to Jake, he lost to everybody in his pool. Except like, for me. Except for you. Yeah, except for me. But still, I, in my games, in my games, were tight. Oh, honestly. really? They were uh -huh. close, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, those, I think those were my best games oh, really? of the night, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, our pool was super hard and we lost to everybody, so. Oof. Man, it's been a bit. I've been, I've been laughing, but like, I've never been able to actually enter a tournament, so I'm so sad, especially because I missed out literally when Kofi showed up. Like, since then, I've not been able to been good. Yeah. I'm honestly one of the. This has been. I mean, I've been playing melee with you guys for like three years now, two or three years now, oh, yeah. and this is by far my favorite, the favorite time, because we've had so many tournaments and they've just been really fun. Oh yeah. Um, well, well, definitely looking forward to the next quarter. Yeah. Once I'm actually able to. Super looking play. forward to it. Um. So. Why all brought this back? I mean, unfortunately, he oh, yes. gets, he gets the eight game his first, his first stock, but Yink has been or YL's been able to pull it into a last stock situation, and it looks like it's in his favor right now. Um, YL yeah. definitely like a very uh, one thing that's always stood out to me about YL are his shield pivots and his ability to return from spacing to pressure right. um, almost instantly. He's really good at he uses crouch pivots like top bar dashes, tree dashes too, really well. Um, and like even right now, he's so content to just like I'm just gonna stand here, full hop back air in your face, and you're right. not gonna come at me. But we'll see. Oh, Ooh, I think. Oh, that was really well spaced by you, but I'm not. Oh, he makes it back. Oh, he missed. Yeah, he missed. Okay, we'll see okay. though. If he Let's slips go. up once, Brian can definitely kill him. Oh! Just because this Brian's is. I'm surprised alive. he actually didn't bend Battlefield Game 1. Just because this is Brian's home stage for tech. Like, yeah. he labs here all the time. Yeah, I know. Exactly. See, look. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like I would have banned like, this. That's like taking uh, Knox to Battlefield. There yeah. was a long period of time where Knox's setup would only play Battlefield. Like, he literally could not play another stage. Yeah. So he would play on only Battlefield. What's up? No, I think they're saying if it was best of three or best of five. Oh, I see, yeah. So I believe it's best of three still. I don't think this is quite tough. Yeah, it's best of three. It's losers round three. That might just be... This is losers? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, Yink lost to Yoni. To Tony. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tony's here. FD, how do you feel about the stage choice? Um, this is Jeff who picked it, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd say this is good. It's good. Do you think it's risky because of chain grabs? Sure, but at the same time, like, Brian relies a lot on platforms, which he gets on Battlefield. I agree with that, yeah. 
Well, I feel like otherwise he'd take him to stadium, but those side platforms oh. just do so much. Wow, Ganon is so heavy. He even like left the ground slowly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's always just like a delay. It's like there's like he's stuck to the ground by like blasts oh, or something. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, I'm not sure if uh, he could have gotten any sort of edge guard situation from an up air there off of that. Uh, I forget what he did. Oh my that god. Was, that was pretty sick forward tilt. Yeah. Um, but the fair didn't connect earlier. I wonder if he could have had a better, a better move choice. Yeah. Yink literally rolling back and forth. There you go, he's just stuffing him with the drill though. Yeah, exactly. Like, Fox just needs to overwhelm Ganon on this stage. Yeah, I think I think in this situation... In general. Is, I think if in, on this stage, if Fox overshoots most of his aerials, and commits to using lots of drills, and lots of nair shines, he can easily easily just run in Ganon's face all day. Yeah. And like we were saying, I think... Wow, that was a great Damn. punish. I think, like we were talking about YL's ability to move from spacing to punish, um, you know, very quickly. I think that's going to come in a lot of handy right here because, I mean, it just allows him to stay within such a tight range yeah. and and continually put pressure on his opponent. Because he's definitely, like, you'll notice he's not a fox that really lasers. He does not oh, laser no. a lot. I think that there are a couple times where Jeff's just running in with, like, really early aerials at low percent. Brian's yeah, not able to punish him properly, but, like, he gets, he definitely gets grabs from them. Yeah. Which is against him really dangerous. Oh, nice. that was sweet. There you go. Yeah, just, just, just one more and he'll stay on ledge. Shine, you know. He doesn't uh, just... Yeah, just Yeah, Jeff doing a nice job here. It's, I feel like he's playing the matchup fairly well right now. He, he just knows how to abuse his hitboxes. That's it? No. no it's too heavy. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's it. Oh! <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, he missed his... Missed his, yeah. uh... Try to smash it up. Yeah. It looks like this is the best of five. Are you getting it? Oh no. I think they're just not really worried about each other. Um, no. It's top 12. Yes. Wait a minute. So it's not best of five. It's just one, it's one, one. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, he took game one. He's stupid. Yeah, crash no, no, cancel is, gives uh, kind of a lot of work here, especially if, if YL comes in with lots of moves. He needs to be really aware of Ganon's percent, so he doesn't get crash canceled. Yeah. Because even though like, he has so little tools against Fox in yeah. neutral, like, it's one of the few things he can abuse, like, in, in certain situations. But if you remove that, he's basically got nothing. So mm -hmm. I think as long as you just, if you have that presence of mind and you're cognizant enough to to stop him from getting those crash cancels, yeah. you're pretty well set. He's also been getting his edge guards like really consistently. I feel like a lot of people, maybe it's just because they play are playing against Brian. It's just. They are really scared to go out and edge guard Ganondorf when you yeah. can. And you just give him stage or ledge for free, oh, like wow. that. Yeah. So I feel like the last thing in this matchup that you want to be is hesitant. I agree. So if you're giving him stage for free, if you're not really confident in your decisions in neutral, Ganon will punish you super hard for that. Yeah, really hard. Like if you like when Alan was still here before he graduated, when the first time I lost to Brian, he said like, as soon as you're afraid of Ganon, you lose. I like agree. it's a hundred percent mentality. I would agree with that, yeah. Because if if you have in your mindset like, look, I'm well, a better great, character, yeah. like this is a bad matchup for you, and you keep that, you know, in going head, into the set, then you're gonna just probably end up on top. Exactly. As long as you don't play like a total moron. But if you're <laughs> like, oh fuck, I'm playing against Ganon, so I'm gonna get hit four times and be at like ninety percent. That's oh, no. that's how he right. wins. Exactly. Is like you giving him the space. To yes. Win. If you don't give him that space, he can't do anything to take nope. it. Most of the time, anyway. Yeah. Why well, else keep it really Brian. tight here? Making sure his space is on. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> shit. Just hell. Yeah. That was sick, though. Just dead. There you go. That down throw forward tail is just so scary. Just construction boots. Steel toe shoes. Yeah, right. You get set up flying. Soul. It's like he flicked his C6 on accident. Yeah. I feel like this is still doable for Brian though. If he yeah. like finds an opening and he just gets a meaty punish. Yeah, it's like, definitely oh. still doable. As long as he plays, uh, tries to play like kind of safely, make sure he's not putting himself too close to the YL's threat range. I noticed Brian's trying to read a lot of like jumps out of shield from YL and it's not really working. Yeah. Like he did like a short hop up air in front of his shield, he just whiffed completely and he just got grabbed. Dead. Oh my god! <laughs> like, like that. Yeah. Uh oh. No. That was a great scoop. Oh, and that trade. There you go. Really so it's the last stock. Yeah. Brian just needs one thing. Like that. Oh my. Okay. Nah, no, that's it. He's dead. In a great game by yeah, Wild. Wild clutching it too. So that puts him in loser's top eight. Oh, and he's gonna play Cox. Should be interesting. That is gonna be interesting. Commas.